Okay, in this video, the character is going to actually stand up, grab the waist, and just... Make sure you dolly the, the edge so you know where the arms are supposed to be. And I'm just going to rotate some of the bones. Rotate that chest up there. Uh, clamp those arms in a tiny bit more maybe. Or rotate, just, I'm just grabbing them from top view and then I'm going to rotate them down. Okay, it looks like the hands are a little bit too far away from that bottom edge, so I rotate his chest down a little bit. Okay, still a little bit too far, so I'm going to rotate the body down. And I know you've done something like this before. I did show you guys this, but um, this exercise is really the main one that where it's really important to try to keep part of the body in the same exact position while the rest of the body is moving. All right, so for the rest of the vi this video, it's really just getting the character in a standing position, uh, head tilted back, so it really looks like the character is done lifting up the box. All right, here's the third video, just keyframing the box to match the hand position. Now, while you have the box selected, you can't really see any of the other keyframes on the timeline, okay? You can't see the other yellow lines, so it's really important that you utilize the dope sheet to, to match the timing of the rest of the body. Uh, I just accidentally set a keyframe in the wrong spot there, so I'm gonna have to zoom in. Yeah, I'm just kind of moving frame by frame and just making sure that it looks okay. You can see that I was off a little bit, so I'm gonna zoom in there and I'm just gonna grab that one keyframe and just hit G, move it over, double check that everything's synced up. If it's in the same column, it's synced up. And I wanna minimize the sliding of the box. So just looking to where, for looking for any frames where it's sliding off and then I just rekey it. Okay, well, look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, I hope you had a good week and keep practicing Blender. Please email me if you have any questions, okay? See you soon.